Greetings from WBCS Neo. Right, in this second um, example, we're going to go a little bit more in depth in case you have a very small amount of money. Um, one of the people who commented on my last video said they couldn't find the amount or the found amounts but couldn't change the value. Um, it was reverting back to old values or something. So <clears throat> I have set this game up to only have £12,000 or €12,000, depending on how you want to look at it. So what we're going to do is, we are going to go into the game. Um, so what I've done here is I have got myself set up at a petrol station because I'm going to change the value in an increment sort of fashion so you can track down your number easier. So we're in a petrol station now, as you can see. There's the forecourt. Okay, there's the petrol indication there. So all I've done is I've just left my location, found a truck there, uh, petrol station, pulled up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to um, cheat engine. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that first. I'm just going to realign my uh, thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press escape. I'm going to find, obviously I know it's 12,000 because I've set it to that <coughs> in the previous hack. Okay, so I've got 12,000 euros at the minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up cheat engine forward. Okay, so there's cheat engine. So first thing you want to do, um, if you've seen the first video, then hopefully by now you know how to install cheat engine. Um, just Google it, install it, um, but please watch the previous video because it tells you about how to get around antivirus and stuff because people don't like you using it. Okay, so you go to your little computer in the top left corner here and you click on that and you look for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Okay, two clicks or open it, whichever. So the value that you want is the amount that you have currently made. So if it is, for instance, my case 12,000 so I will put 12,000 in there okay so the first scan is going to look for every single instance of 12,000 in Euro Truck Simulator 2's memory location okay takes a little while because uh, it's probably going to find quite a lot and this is going to be a problem you see because you're, you're going to get a lot of those and it's going to look a little bit a bit of a mess but this video will show you how to streamline it a lot better okay so as you can see here, I have got quite a lot of 12,000s in here, okay? So what I want to do is, I'm going to swip, quickly swap back to Euro Truck Simulator, and I'm going to do something easy, okay? So back to Truck Simulator 2, okay? And what I'm going to do is, I am going to go back to Drive Mode, okay? And what I'm going to do is, I am going to take my park and brake off, that helps, and I'm going to go and get some petrol okay it's a good idea if you haven't got much petrol that's better okay so I'm just gonna pull in and I'm just gonna turn the engine off and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press enter a couple of times there you go three euros worth of fuel okay now I'm gonna start the engine okay and I'm gonna pull forward off the forecourt if you hear the do 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 ching that's been taken off my account okay so now if we just press escape as you can see by the amount it's now down to 11,997 that's the three euros taken off so what I now want to do is I want to go back to cheat engine now okay and I want to go and tell it you don't want to click new scan again whatever you do do not click new scan again because you would have to then click on the new value okay so what you want to do is you want to change the scan type from exact value if you know the exact value you can do that okay what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say a decreased value. So any value that's dropped since that last scan. Then I want to click on next scan. Okay, and that's going to look through the existing ones and see which ones have changed. As you can see here, I can already see a couple lit up here in red that have changed automatically. So they have already changed in memory. So I know they are probably the amount. So we're just going to do next scan anyway. And that'll delete the other ones from the actual list. Boof, okay. So we are now down to four entries, okay? So that's four entries for that, okay? So we can repeat that again just to try to rule out these four entries. It doesn't matter if you've got four entries, okay? Because the chances are this one here is probably the real one. These three here are probably display ones, okay? These are what's, what's displayed in the game in different locations, like in the truck, uh, in your, when you press escape and pause the game, your uh, whole assessment value and probably a save value or something like that as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Euro Truck Simulator again, like this, okay, we're back in here. Okay, 
we know it's 11,000 still so I'm going to go back and do the same process again so I'm going to start the engine up uh, or the engine's already started go hide and reverse I'm going to pull back into the petrol station hope there's no cars behind us have I got far enough back? oh there we have right turn that off again put three quids worth of fuel in okay heighten forward okay start the engine back up bring it forward again until it goes ching 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 like that <coughs> now switch over to the cheat well switch over to this screen again now switch over to cheat engine okay again decreased value and we do next scan now we're down to two <coughs> so again one is a display value and one is the actual value so this is where I would say now is the time to do a hack okay so what you want to do is say these first values that was the initial load value of the game and it's cancelled that one out so these two here if you highlight them right click add the selected address <coughs> to the address list okay they are now added so what I would say to you we know one is a real value and one is a display value because there's only two values just click both in the value field and put it to what you want okay in this case I want to put up to I don't know 10 million okay and I'll do the same with that one make sure they're the same just in case the game doesn't like that or detects a change as it being a legal entry boom okay right so if I switch over to the game now okay as you can see there it says 11,984 that was a previous value if I press escape look at my dash uh, if you look at my no, I can't show you uh, if you look where it shows my amount it says I've got 10 million euros if I press escape again I have 10 million euros okay so that is how you hack um, <coughs> truck simulator 2 for money okay and um, if you wanted to you can hack the experience level okay in which case you would look at the amount up here 3292 and you would do a search for that the only problem with this is is getting this to change you have to do missions okay so you have to do a mission to get a change <coughs> it might take you a few missions to narrow it down to a field where you would see the or be able to lock down which is the actual experience value um, I haven't tried it myself because I haven't had time to do that but that's that's something I'll, I'll try and make another video of that where I'll probably do like a, a pause and, and jump routine where I'll, I'll I'll pause the recording do the mission get to the end of the mission and then show you the the whole process in, in a speed of process okay <clears throat> well, that's that's pretty much it so anyway I think uh, for now that will do me champion um, I hope that helps those I know someone said the other day that they couldn't change the amount so I'm hoping that will allow you better control of it that you kind of get any closer than changing the value than that um, sometimes you get one or two displays sometimes you get one it depends on the game's loading for some reason it'll come up with a couple of fake anomalies but sometimes it only comes up with the one anomaly when you do the search it just depends in this case we've got one display value and you have the actual monetary value uh, changing both of those doesn't affect the game doesn't break the game in any way it just changes the values okay um, so you're not going to break your game so I think that's it really so um, I'll say ciao for now uh, and I hope that helped those who were getting a little bit stuck with the previous uh, example of hacking okay so I'm just going to load up the game right see you later until the next time, ciao for now. Hi, this is WBCS Neo. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you did like it, please check out all the other videos I do have. Uh, more importantly, please subscribe, like, share, and if you can, comment below if you want. Okay, um, comments will be answered as soon as I can. Until the next time, see you later. Bye bye.